Hi, Dominique. Hi, Jamie. Hello. So I start with Dominique because I have to say I really like the movie. It's so much fun. And we know, everybody knows that Jamie is an amazing actor, but you are my new discovery. I mean, it's amazing what you did. I really loved you. What did you learn from Jamie, who is already so long in the business? Yeah, well, um, I was, so I like to do a lot of analytical work. I like to write a lot of thoughts and the movie was going so fast and things would change so quickly that I didn't really get the opportunity to do as much writing as I normally did. So I really, it really was a test of like faith about who I was inside and, and what I already had. So um, I was getting super nervous that I didn't get to prepare the way I always prepare. And so I asked Jamie and then uh, Jamie made the, he asked me if I watch basketball and I was like, oh, yeah, I watch basketball. And he said, when Steph Curry runs down a court and he shoots a three and it goes in, he doesn't question why it goes in. You know, he's been doing it for so long. And so, and like, that's the same for you. You've been doing it so long. So it's like already in you. Um, so I can trust that. So that yeah. was what I hold on to. By the way, I like your hairdo a lot. <laughs> so Jamie, um, we spoke last for Just Mercy. And um, we talked about um, Black people in the States. Now I have this feeling with that movie, normally Black people are always the villains. In this movie, it's not. It's, the, it's our heroes, actually. Mm -hmm. um, is that something which is very important? Yeah, look, it's always, look, I, I believe in perception. I believe in art and perception. Uh, sometimes, you know, the responsibilities of things uh, land on our shoulders as, as Black actors, maybe sometimes it's not warranted, but I believe in, in showing a perception that is good. You know, we've seen a perception for so long that's sometimes not good, sometimes not good, so we want to show, you know, good things. Is that your dog on the side? No. <laughs> I saw this, a dog or something. That happens in virtual interviews that all of a sudden oh. dogs come in. I know. But Jamie, I know. you told me at that time um, that it's, you know, um, even as a Hollywood actor, you are seen different, for example, with cops, then um, if, it doesn't matter if you're a Hollywood actor or not. Did that change now, you think? that? Did, do you think that the Black Lives Matter movement already changed something, or is it a long way to go? Mm -hmm. All I can tell you on that front is that being out here on the front lines, you're encouraged. You know why? Everybody in the world yelling or saying or speaking Black Lives Matter. That's what we need. The unfortunate, bittersweet, real part of it, which is not a, you know, which is not an interview, is the fact that, you know, George Floyd loses his life um, um, and, and, and all of these others who have lost their life. So hopefully, you know, not hopefully, I know that we're changing, you know, we're changing in, into a world of where you understand what we're going through. And that's why doing this movie, I'm happy that this movie is coming out on August 14th because it gives us an opportunity to escape. You know, it gives an opportunity to 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 have some fun. It gives an opportunity to take a pill and turn into whatever you want to turn into. Because you know, I'm gonna just turn into the love man. That's what I'm gonna do when I'm taking my pill. I'm gonna just spread love all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And understanding you can take my eyes and your eyes and switch them out, and I can see what you're going through. And that way, I won't say something bad about you. And I can also tell people, I say, hey, stop looking at your comments. Stop worrying about what the world is saying about you just, and just, just deal with you on the inside. And on, on August 14th on Netflix. Yes. Like Netflix. And, but also, Jamie, I mean, the music and the, the music was so outstanding in the movie. Yes. I really loved it. But also when you are in the supermarket, there is a song and it says, I can't breathe. But the movie was made. I mean, the BLM movement is since two years has that slogan. So, I mean, it fits. It's not only a great thriller and a great action movie, mm -hmm. superhero, but it also fits very contemporary in our times. You know, what, we did the movie two years ago and had no idea that we would be in the position that we're in right now. So, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, great minds and, and great artists come together and that's what you get. And when you look at Dominique Fishback, let's not forget, She's here. She is debuting. She is. She's. She's. She's not only acting, 
but she's rapping and she's taking this movie. She's taking this movie and we see it through our eyes. We feel uh, what she feels. So I can't wait for people to, to uh, Google her. <laughs> so, but Dominic, did that experience with the movie and all the feedback you get, did that empower you? Um, what did it make with you personally? What did it do to you? Um, well, I mean, to hear the things that, that Jamie said, Joseph Gordon Levitt said, it feels, um, it feels surreal. Because from a young age, I always felt like I could do it. I always felt I had something special, but you never really know until you get an opportunity to somebody believes in you en enough to give you that opportunity. So, um, I, I'm just like, I'm, I'm thankful that I always wanted to be able, I, when I was going through school and people were getting um, agents, I said, you know, I'm not going to think about an agent. I'm going to think about the craft so that anytime I get in the room, I always deliver. Like I want to be able to always deliver, not worry about anything else. So I feel, I feel, I feel great that, that people feel this way. about Man, you deliver and when people don't understand, well, when people watch movies and we're showing it for a screening and people are like rating in them, you know, of course they see Jamie Foxx and he does this, you know, the, the ticker goes up. But at one point, Dominique does her thing in the rap and the meter just goes through the roof. So it there's a joy in this. There's a joy in watching the project come together, but then knowing the behind the scene of of who Dominique is and she, who she will continue to be uh, uh, as an artist. Uh, it, 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 uh, like Tony, Tony, Tony. Feels good. Yes, thank yes. you so much. I have to wrap up, guys. Thanks for the movie. Maybe we see a sequel. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.